Welcome to East Coast LQ Views. Today, we're reviewing Old Bardstown Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So I picked this up uh, at Yankee Spirits for, I believe it was $36. This is also a product distilled, aged, and bottled by Willet Distillery. It's actually been on the shelf for a while. I just never really knew what it was. Um, and yeah, I just recently had the Johnny Drum and uh, I really enjoyed this. This is the private stock Johnny Drum. Um, stats on this is 50.5% alcohol by volume or 101 proof, distilled and aged by Willet Distillery. But the age is uh, no age statement, Mashville is undisclosed. And uh, yeah, so I'm not really too sure exactly what the difference between these two are. Um, I'm guessing mash bill. Uh, but yeah, so this bottle is actually pretty cool. Um, this is off the BreakingBourbon.com website. It says, featuring a horse and the name Old Bardstown on its label, Old Bardstown Estate Bottled Bourbon pays homage to the racing horse legend. Old Bardstown was named after the city of Bardstown, Kentucky, and was bred and trained by Calumet Farms. Old Bardstown was one of the most acclaimed racehorses of his time, who ended his career with 18 first place finishes, seven second place finishes, and one third place finish. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so a little bit of background story for you there. The bottle says, uh, still in Kentucky, bottled in historic Bardstown. Kentucky's gold medal award. Uh, Kentucky State Fair award for excellence. Uh, Kentucky's Finest, Kentucky's Barrel Aged for Excellence, Old Time Sour Mash, so it is a uh, Sour Mash, was this a Sour Mash? Uh, yeah, this was a Sour Mash as well. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's crack this open, go for a pour, check out the appearance, and if I didn't uh, specify, this is the Old Bardstown Estate Bottle, so there are some different Old Bardstown brands. This is the estate bottled one. So what? Uh, yeah, let's pop this open. Now I believe they used to have wax on the top of their bottles with a twist off. Now they've uh, switched over to a synthetic cork. I personally like the cork over the screw top anyways. Just more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Let's pour this up. Get a self nice generous pour there for a couple swirls. All right. Some decent alcohol legs coating the side of the glass. Copper in appearance. Very nice looking dram. Now it is a no age statement. But uh, it does look pretty good. Looks like it's got some age to it. Let's go for the nose on this. Lots of um, cinnamon baking spices, very reminiscent to the Wild Turkey 101 baking spice on the nose. A little bit of chocolate and vanilla in there. Oh yeah, this has got a, it's got a somewhat similar nose to the uh, Starlight Distillery bourbon, just their regular bourbon. A little bit of ethanol alcohol in the nose, but once you get past that, you do pick up on that sweetness. Caramel candy, some oak. Yeah, I like this. It's got some good uh, aromas to it. Very similar compared to some other uh, decent bourbons, or some bourbons that I really enjoy, personally. Yeah, when I first uh, tried this, um, so of course, yeah, this was, uh, I already had a neck pour of it, just to kind of let it open up. It's been about, I mean, less than a week since I've uh, first opened this, but I wasn't getting that chocolate note at first. So that's very interesting, I do like that. Yeah, without further ado, let's go for the taste. Cheers, guys.
a little bit of ethanol or a little bit of alcohol burn. Some of those baking spices and a slight oak astringency on the back end. But then the sweetness comes back around. So you get sweetness up front and then you get hit with a little bit of that alcohol and a little bit of that spice. But then the sweetness comes back. It's kind of like a lingering uh, vanilla. A little bit of um, dark chocolate on the back end. Some citrus in there. It's a little warm in my room. A little bit of citrus, caramel candy up front, vanilla mid palate that definitely lingers throughout. A little bit of plum, so some dried fruits. This is a really decent whiskey. I do think though, I do think I do like the Johnny Drum a little bit more, uh, me personally. Um, but overall, I think that this is a really solid bourbon for the money. I mean, uh, Breaking Bourbon saying MSRP in 2022 was 35. I paid 36. Um, typically at Yankee Spirits, I get the products for MSRP. Um, so I'm guessing that MSRP is 36. I would 36, 35. I would pay that all day again for this. Um, this is a solid sip and bourbon. Um, it's right even at that price range that you could throw it into a cocktail and it would work pretty well and uh, you won't be bothered by the fact that you're throwing something in there that's only $35 you know you're not really breaking the bank if you wanted to just mix this solid ABV too I will say 50.5% um, mouth feels very nice drinking right around that 100 proof this is 101 so yeah you get a good mouth feel nice viscosity to it um, Lots of flavor and complexity, to be honest with you. When I first had it, I don't think I was picking up as many notes. But I will say that after uh, letting the bottle open up a little bit, it does develop a little bit more complexity. I think it's a solid product. Like I said, not better than Johnny Drum in my opinion. But a bottle that I possibly would replace if I drink the rest of it. Um, this would be a good bottle to give like a friend who's just kind of getting into bourbon. If they like the um, if they like the Wild Turkey 101, I think they would really enjoy this as well. I know the Wild Turkey 101 is like pretty much everywhere. So I'm guessing for the most part, most bourbon drinkers have tried it. And uh, yeah, if you see this and you want to gift it, this would be a perfect one to gift as well. As far as the number, Getting a little bit of that corn, that corn sweetness. But that chocolate note is very prominent. I do like it. 91. 91 out of 100 for this. Uh, yeah, this is a solid product for sure. I'm going to recommend it. Um, kind of wish I had an age statement. And I kind of wish they told you the mash bill, but uh, I guess they're keeping that a secret. Overall, I think it's a solid product. Like I said, I'm going to recommend it. I think that this would be a good bourbon for somebody who doesn't want to break the bank. If you want to spend maybe less than 40 bucks, this would be a perfect one to try out if you see it in your area. And yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos. Look at here. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.